Welcome back, Saviors GH here. This is Let's Play number 4 for Eden Eternal. We're gonna talk about the Magician class while we're playing the game. Maybe show you guys the trophies that you might need. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game, okay guys? So, mages. Let's show the mages over here. So, among the mage classes, the Magician is the best DPS class. I can't comment about the Luminary because the last time I played this game, the Luminary didn't have an Awakened class and I didn't want to play a class that didn't have an Awakened. So anyway, the Magician is the best single target over here. The Warlock is the crit rate mage. This one, I forgot the Illusionist. This is more of a trickster, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I forgot. This one has a summon, which is kind of useless. And I forgot. I need to play this again to remember. Okay, so anyway, you can also use the Magician to run dungeons, but it's a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna give you an idea. Only an idea because my mage right now is not the, not yet geared. So how about let me just show it to you. Let's do Venin Fang. Let's go. We're only gonna do the single player mode because the party mode is very strong. I need to gear this up. So here's my gears by the way. I already got a few trophies for the mage and my armors are crap. <laughs> And then I got the Alice Nightmare Touch over here. I upgraded it to plus three. I have safety stones, but I don't want to waste it. Don't waste your safety stones, by the way, guys. Use it at level 55 or 60. When we start getting weapons and armors that are gold, because gold armors can be archived. You can put it on your archive over here. You can put it over here. As you can see, let's go check the weapons. For example, staff. As you can see over here, there are orange staff. I think you can craft this, crafted weapons. Oh yeah. I need to check this out. I forgot about this. But more importantly, what you're gonna upgrade are the gold weapons. Look at this. What's the earliest gold weapon over here? This magic skeleton. I remember this. Yeah, you're gonna need this. Actually, I think you get this from this dungeon. The mutated dungeon of Venin Fang. The trial version. Oh yeah, that's exciting. I want that. So yeah, keep your safety stones. So let's run this dungeon. Let me show you. I mean, let me give you an idea of what you're gonna do. To run dungeons over here as a mage. Let's go. If you're already geared up, man, this is very difficult to do. <laughs> if you're already geared up, you can just stop and then keep casting this skill over here. And then kill all of this. In one standing over here. This is what I don't like about casting circles. Sometimes your character would move and it's kind of annoying. This is why I don't use the mage for farming. The engineer class is still better because of the ease of use. But this is quicker though. If you're geared. That is a big if. I am free to play by the way when I played this. I didn't spend anything. I'm broke. <laughs> when I played this last time, I think that was 2011, 2012. Can remember. Okay, anyway, this is what you're gonna do here. When they start getting near you, you can teleport like this and then get back again and keep casting. And teleport again. Okay, they're almost gone. We're gonna try the party mode, but I think I'm gonna die. I need to set up my... Oh, wait a minute, let's kill this one. I need to set up my gears, increase my casting speed. My trophies though is kind of good already. Look at this, Karen's long weft. That's very good for a mage. Let's kill this one first before we go hunt down that boss over there. I hope they release level 55 soon because this is kind of boring to be honest with you guys there's not that much on level 45 even level 50 the fun part is when the trial starts i know i've been saying that hey wait a minute where's the boss <laughs> i think we didn't reset guys so how about let's get out okay that's my mistake let's reset the dungeon do it again and yeah guys don't upgrade your blue weapons right here i saw a few people upgrading blue weapons to like plus nine <laughs> that's crazy guys don't do that 
And for those who's asking me that, uh, why I'm farming these dungeons, you get gold from this, from the accessories that you get from these monsters. Most of the items though, won't give you that much. But when you see an accessory that's probably gonna cost around 7 gold, that's what you're gonna farm. And what's happening with the potions? Heal me! What's happening there? Still not yet used to the controls. Let's go. Let's pour them. Uh oh. Did we get them all? Yep. Okay, let's finish this one. Are they doing weekly updates? I haven't checked out their schedule. I hope they're doing weekly updates because, man, this is not good. Us staying one month at level 45, man. That is not good. Okay, so let's cast this skill over here. Buff up. And let's hunt down hands. So let's check out. What is he gonna drop? Hands development. What is that? Okay, hands development. What's the effect? Oh, it's a healer trophy. Ooh. Teleport. That's what's good about the magician class. Man, again. That's what I don't like about casting circles. Suddenly your character would just move out of nowhere. That's why when the bard skill, the vocal bomb, I think, I know that, the guitar burning metal, when they change that skill, that's actually kind of nice. There's no more casting circle. Okay, bro, about to be broken. Uh-oh. There it goes. These ones are strong. Let's go. Where's the next boss? And that music. Ooh, okay, check out the first boss first. And that's a lot of first. Oh, I remember this trophy. You can use this for your engineers if you have an engineer class. Teleport. Because this activates as you hit enemies. And as you can see, it adds attack to 2k. Yeah, for 8 seconds. That's gonna be real nice. Man, this is really difficult to do. I can't talk while doing this because I could die here. <laughs> Here's this one. Uh, I think we shouldn't mob these guys over here because this can heal if I remember correctly. Just hunt this down normally. No, my dog is barking. Okay, guys, I had to stop there because my dog is barking at someone outside. Somebody's calling me, so I had to talk to them. So, anyway, back to Venin Fang. What are we doing? I died. We need to hunt this down because this one's heal. Okay, we got the healer. There's more healer over here. Eh, so bad. Let's go. Okay, now the boss. Ram blood. We're gonna need this, but I think I already have it. Oh, where is it? There it goes. I already have it. So to get that trophy, you need to break the boss. Let's break the boss. 
I think we can get it again. But you can't equip two of those. Only one. You need to be careful at this boss because if I remember correctly, this one reflects. And the reflect is almost no warning. I think that's it. Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> I think that's the reflect. Die, bruh. Okay, he's dead. We got infected blood. Okay, now let's proceed. Before going to the boss, make sure to hunt down this one's over here because those guys heal. Let's get some of the others over here. Then let's hunt them down over here. Push them off. Die. Okay, we got them. Now for the boss. If you're a magician, you're gonna need the trophy of this boss early on, early on the game. There's a better version of this at the trials. But for now, I guess this will work. Look at that. It gives int plus 32 and it increases your magic attack. For eight seconds, 5% chance of activation. So if there's a lot of enemy, it's most likely gonna activate. Okay, so what else can we get here? Ooh, there's a gun. I actually kind of need this. And then heavy armor. Yeah, I'm also gonna level up my tanker. Because in this game, hardly anyone tanks and hardly anyone heals. Everybody is DPS. <laughs> You're gonna see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's buff up. But this one, break it first. Give me your gun. We need the gun. Come on. You need to be ready here. Because if I remember correctly, this one can sleep. It will sleep you. Ready your teleports. It's broken. Let's go. Die. And it's dead. Ooh, we got a hat. Okay, we got a hat. I think we should dump some of them because the next boss will drop some stuff. And here's the second part. We need to gather enemies over here. Gather them all. Are there healers? Oh yeah, there is. So how about let's just stop over here. Finish the mob over here. As you can see, guys, my trophies are activating. There goes the Karen whip. Ooh! Let's teleport, we're dying! Okay, we got them. Now this one's over here. Let's go. Okay, we got that one. Now for the boss. There goes the boss. What are you gonna give? Oh no, I think we can't break it. Should we break it? Lightning nature, 2% chance to cause the enemy to be unable to receive any growth effect. Okay, whatever that is. I don't remember this. This is probably not that important. But I think I'm gonna need this. This one over here. How about the boots? 
Yeah, sure. We can use these boots. Light armor. Oh, no. Okay, let's just kill it. We can break it. I don't want to break it. Okay, let's go. Hunt down the Pumas. Make sure they're dead. Come over here. So I can teleport. I think I need to use my shaman to break this. I don't want to teleport. Dodge, bro. Die. Can you reach me over here? Oh no. Okay, he's dead. He didn't drop anything. Ah, it's because... I don't have backspace. Okay, let's see if we're gonna get... If this happens, for some reason your bag is full and you didn't get anything, just delete some of your items and then walk around this area and see if we're gonna get anything. I'm not getting anything. And there he goes. We got a guitar. I think I already have this. Yup. Actually, this one is kind of better because it's P healing and cast speed. And that's it for now, guys. By the way, what kind of content do you guys want to see for Eden Eternal? Because if you guys don't say anything, I will just be chilling and doing stuff while showcasing a class. Anyway, leave a like. And this is Game Hardcore. See you in the next one.